Today, we're going to steal our opponent's deck and give them our deck, which is awful. It's absolutely terrible. Yes, this deck is shamelessly stolen from Mono Black. It's a shameless theft deck. Let's check it out. Welcome to the Attic Manadad here. This is the channel where we play what's fun in Magic, mostly on Arena and, whoa, <laughs> juggle the performance. Yep, it's one of those alchemy cards. Run away, hit the thumbs down. <laughs> but <laughs> look, I know this deck is bad, all right? So if anybody's playing this card, <laughs> they're wasting their wild cards. I wasted my wild cards on the deck because it's bad. It's bad in a lot of ways, um, but it's fun. So you're going to see it. Um, here's what we do. Each player discards their hand, conjures a duplicate of seven random cards from the library of the player to their right to their hand, meaning us. The duplicates perpetually gain mana of any type can be spent to cast this spell, okay? So we get opponent's cards, they get our cards, okay? <laughs> we have a ton of ley lines, so our opening hand, we're just going to drop a ton of ley lines, hopefully have juggle the performance, or have scheming symmetry and a ley line of anticipation so we can get juggle the performance. <clears throat> Hopefully that happens maybe with the dark ritual on turn two, if we're lucky. Opponent has had very little time to add to the board. Now they have a hand full of bad cards. We have a hand full of their good cards. And hopefully we just win with overwhelming card advantage after that happens. It actually ends up being quite a brain teaser, as you're going to see in the games, because they're still drawing from their deck and we're still drawing from our deck. So our draws are bad. Their draws are good. But we have a hand of seven good cards and they have a hand of seven bad cards. So it's kind of a fair fight. Uh, if you can call anything in Timeless Fair, um, this deck is based on a deck by Mono Black. I'll link in the description Mono Black's video. Mono Black did a historic version of this. I'm doing the Timeless version. Uh, I didn't have the wild cards to get four Mizzix Masteries, but if, you, if you're building the Mono Black version, you can have four Mizzix Masteries, and then that gives you more bites at Juggle the Performance, which is probably good. I added Siphon Insight, which I think adds a little bit of extra fun because we're, again, playing cards off of our opponent's deck. We can use this to hit our third land drop and get to that juggle the performance on turn three. Also, we can run Forsaken Crossroads, which is generally pretty bad as just a tap land, uh, although it does scry, so that's good. But when opponent get, gets it, hopefully it's just a tap land, unless they went first, in which case it can untap. But... That is basically it. Pretty standard, um, completely untuned, <laughs> timeless mana base. And uh, if you like decks like this, hit that subscribe, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, and let me know you care. Uh, other than that, stick around to the very end of the video. I'll show you the actual win rate of the deck, not just uh, what you saw in the video, not just the games I was able to fit in the video. All right, let's take a look at this shameless theft deck and see if we can actually win with this incredibly jank win con let's go up against spring onion great in a soup put it on your what noodles uh we're gonna keep this <laughs> put down a bajillion ley lines ley line of sanctity could be an instant scoop hello Dark Ritual, Necropotence, okay. They're gonna have a hard time winning against the, the Leyline of Sanctity. Most Necro builds, anyway. Discards Thoughtseize, yeah, you bet. No scrying. Take those, it's not bad. That can generate some serious manas. Yep, did Aetherborn. Okay, they actually have a win condition beyond Storm. Must be the Devotion build. Yes. Get your life total nice and low for me. Yeah. Oh, 
this is going to get our nice life total nice and low. Well. Siphon some insight. Uh, yeah. What happens to the other card? Very merchant to the bottom is fine. Yeah. Darker tool will be useful. Okay. Necro number two. Up in that devotion, Knight of the Ebon Legion. Backs for two, gains two. We'll draw some more cards. This is the most fair mono black deck. Cast that? I guess we'll. We kind of need to. We wouldn't be able to cast that otherwise. Juggling the performance. Okay. We so have to exile all those cards. Now they have a handful of garbage, and oh, actually, should sure. dark ritual. Oops. See. Okay. Get them next time. Pump this up once. I guess they can pump it up a lot. That's Death Touch, so. Now that they've done that in combat, they're going to be restricted in what they can play. You know, with Necro on the battlefield, they can actually just draw... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they figured it out. They can draw themselves a good hand. What's Dark Ritual? Blood stain or a siphon inside first. We get a bow masters, that's cool. I guess getting lots of colorless mana is fine. So let's uh, fatal push this. And bow master. This is an interesting battle. <laughs> Spring Onion. Sticking with it. Uh oh. Big black mana. Dark rituals. More black mana. Ley line up in the Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, they're going to play my ley lines. Oh, thanks. Guild Pact, not super helpful. Oh, 
don't really want to play Necro, but we could try and draw into another wheel. Seven, I suppose. Um, or do we want to stay outside of range? They're at eight devotion. This will go to nine. Not that they couldn't put one more devotion on the battlefield and then play their Gary. Dark ritual. Ooh. Yeah, this is a sorcery. This card too. All right, do we survive? Bowmasters. They can't bowmaster us, but they can certainly win if they've got a Gary. Oh, uh, you know what? We should, because we got Leyline of Anticipation. If we need one more mana of another color. Okay, it's a good sign. They're neck rowing. Yeah, we might have them. They go to one. A discard. Steaming symmetry. Okay, my turn. We don't draw, but that's okay. Dark ritual. Jugla the performance. Lose all those cards. But that's okay. Not find a Gary. They didn't have a Gary, right? Did they? I'll watch it go. I guess we can flash in the gifted Etherborn. So stop on their draw to step. I can draw. Guess we'll get Leyline of Combusted. We're gonna take four damage if we do that. Grabbing the mana anyway. Oh wait, did they already draw? They're gonna juggle the performance. Okay, so. I guess may as well Dark Ritual. Ethermorn. Give me some more cards from your hand, please. <laughs> from your deck. This game is ridiculous. <laughs> Opponent finally gives it up. Sorry, Spring Onion.
ranking right down with a absolutely ridiculous deck. Up against Missing Lethal. That should be my name. According to some of you commenters. Uh, Leyline, Scheming Symmetry. Leyline of Anticipation plus Scheming Symmetry is a keep. Plus, Leyline of Sanctity can be an auto win, depending. Um, let's cry here. I suppose we might need blue, but we also will need red or black, so... Black. We'll first break it. We can keep that. Binge swept teeth. Deep in that teeth. The secret boundary, okay. And a ragamuffin. Never doesn't have it. Oh, that's the turn. We have to scheme that symmetry on their end set. Hit a dark ritual, nice of them. Would you like to use it, opponent? Uh, Swab teeth. Okay. It could be the zoo deck. Forest, death right shaman. And Let's go find our key card. Uh, opponent, are you there? Double la performance. Any instant speed re responses, opponent? Flash shares will be nice. Oh -ho! Okay, we've got quite a hand here. How do we get up to Carnosaur mana? Voice of Resurgent is not bad either. I guess we only have one, one basic land type, huh? Restoration Angel. Let's make a wolf gain some life. That should help us stabilize. We could have waited to ley line of anticipation then. Okay. Guess we see what they drew. Are we ley line binding their ley line bindings. Oh, 
life. Um, yeah, we get we get the loot. This is all instant speed, so that's the turn. Get all these treasures over here. So a card from the graveyard. The attackers, oh, here they come. Block. With the two two. You may rock. You attack. Okay. Weird. Yes. Do we ley line bind that or do we just Yeah, we lay line by that. Hey. Oh, we just get the hunt master. You have the scheming symmetry ley line anticipation thing. They're a blink deck, it looks like, so let's just get this guy off the battlefield. Ley line up combustion. Um, what Thassa? Uh, Thassa might actually, with the devotion, might actually get there. Because once again we had instant speed, we didn't need to do that. We're gonna death right something. Down to eleven. Fun little blink deck here. Cycle Xander's Lounge. Lanes. Okay. Make some mana. Has to ley line probably. Yeah, <laughs> ley line of combustion. Okay. We will scheming symmetry before that's there. They're basically tapped out. Opponent knows what's coming. Missing lethal. It's a battle of wits with a witless deck. Get to fly us for three. Finally. If we play this, is there a way to nick those? 
now this is Nick dosing for what has four devotion. Not worth bothering, right? Let's go for it. Get a whole new hand. Night of Autumn. Blow up the ley line binding. Oh, we don't have six. Ouch. We need some life here. We'll gain four life with the uh, Night of Autumn. Four life, please. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. That was their top deck. So we need an enchantment, a planeswalker. Artifact and a creature. So I guess we'll keep this as our creature. Do we keep the Leyline Binding or the Thassa as the... You attack this turn. So I guess... Give them back their 3-4. Tap land. Flies us for three. We got to get Undercity Suez. Two Wall Blossoms. Leyline of Sanctity. Wall of Blossoms. Question. Voice of Resurgence. For city sewers. Try to find more, more action here. Um, yeah, we'll attack the 5-5. Five five. We're going to blow up that 4-5. They don't block with it, so. Alright, nice. Take out the rock. Welcome to the rock. We'll take two from that. Next turn we can blink the Night of Autumn for four life. Battle of Wits here. Typhoon's Insight. <laughs> Good luck. My deck is pretty useless. A line of Anticipation is not bad, though. So they should fly us for three. Yeah, they do. All right, ley line of the void. Um, 
play I can't play Leyline of Sanctity without tapping this, huh? I can play Leyline of Combustion and then tap that work? No. Uh, and blink. Need some life. Wall of blossoms. I just drawn. Just top decking. Top deck and garbage. Let's just siphon some insight. We we'll take another three. Archon of Amiria. We've got a spicy one over there. Let me think about this. If we siphon insight, we can't play anything this turn. Leyline of Anticipation would help. We don't have that. I think we still need to blink our Knight of Autumn. Exile a creature card for two life. Guess we'll attack with the voice of resurgence. We'll block with the wall of blossoms. Turn. Blink Knight of Autumn. Gain, do we gain life or do we blow up an artifact? Gain the life. We'll be taking five a turn. We can be gaining six. In the graveyard, we want to get rid of. Leyline of Sanctity. You have hexproof. Not your graveyard, though. Well, I guess that ruins our siphon insight. Whoops. No attack with the two three. Okay. They're at six though. Try to drain them down. We're at six, they're at six. Of sanctity for me. Yeah, I think we're just on the drain them with death right shaman plan here. Can't use that siphon insight because we've got ley line of sanctity. Use up our spell per turn. Ah. Night of Autumn. 
to blow up their ley line of sanctity. I don't want to keep getting worse. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, missing lethal? Guy clave appetizer. Uh, wait, we'll, we'll wait till they target the death right shaman. Aha! You got beat by your own deck. Okay, here are the stats. 33% win rate. I was not joking when I said this deck is actually terrible. Don't play this deck. 100% um, against Mono Black, though, and against uh, Naya, I guess. Uh, if you ever play Naya in Timeless, which is rare. Uh, took an hour and a half just to get three wins here. 50% on the play, 20% on the draw. So uh, we didn't play on the play as much as we could have, obviously. This deck is much, much better on the play if we can get off that three-mana spell before opponents had an extra turn to add to their board or fire off their show and tell. Um, I, unfortunately, I did beat show and tell with this deck, but unfortunately that was when I was testing and it wasn't recording. So, um, yeah, anyways... Three, three, and uh, <laughs> three and six. There you go. That's what it is. Um, if you like this, check out some of these other crazy jank win con decks. I'm going to link a playlist over there, and uh, I'll remind you that magic is a game so fun, even dads can enjoy. It. Adios.